Now that we have our recipe cards created, the next thing that we want to do is create an individual page for each one of these recipes. Now to do this, we're going to be creating a route that has a param and the param is going to contain the ID of that specific recipe. So what we want to do is within our pages directory, we want to create a new folder and we're going to call this route recipes. And then within this route, we just want to create a new file. And then how we can define a route with a param is using brackets. So inside of the bracket, we can name our param and we're going to call this param ID. And then we just want to say dot view to create our view file. And then we'll just want to create our view boilerplate. Now back inside of our index.view file where we have our recipe cards, what we want to do is convert our button to be a Nux link component. So that way when we click on the view button, it takes us to that new individual recipe page that we're creating right here. So let's convert our button to a Nux link component. So we'll say Nux link like this. And then we need to add our cell closing tag for some reason I didn't want to do that. And then on the Nux link component, remember to navigate to a particular route, we want to add what is called the two prop. Now the two prop is going to be dynamic because we want to reference that ID property on each recipe whenever we select on the view button on that particular recipe. So what we want to do is you want to insert some back ticks and then we want to say slash recipes. And then to reference our ID, what we want to do is use the money sign and brackets. And then we want to reference our recipe param. And then we want to reference the ID property. Okay. So now if we save that and head back to our application and we select on one of our view buttons, you can see it's going to take us to the route of recipes. And then we have the ID of two. And if we go back and we select on another one, this one, for example, should be three. Now back inside of our recipes file, what we want to do is fetch data that is associated to the ID that is being passed in that particular route. So the first thing that we need to do is gain reference to that particular ID. Now to gain access to this, what we can do is first create a new variable and we'll just call this params. And then what we want to do is set this equal to what is called the use route. And then on here we have access to a bunch of information pertaining to that particular route. And what we want to do is gain access to the params. So inside of our template, what we can do is we can just create an H1 and we can apply a couple class. We'll just say text 3XL like this, and we can just output the current param ID. So we can say params dot ID like this. So if we save that and we head over to the application, you can see now we see three. And if we were to go to a different route, such as the second one, we'll see two. Now, instead of storing all of our params inside of a single variable, what we can do instead is destructure the response to get back those individual params that the route has. So instead of just saying params like this, we can destructure the response and just say ID. So now that we have access to an ID, what we can do is use this endpoint right here to get a single recipe. So we can copy this and back inside of our file, we can use the use fetch composable to fetch that single recipe. So we'll say const and then we'll destructure our response and we'll get back the data and the error. And then we'll set this equal to await and then we'll use the views fetch and then we'll paste in our URL. And what we want to do is dynamically pass in our route ID. So instead of having quotes, we can use back ticks. And then where we have the one, we can replace this with a money sign and our brackets. And we can just pass in our ID like this. And back here inside of the application, if we were to open up the Nux dev tools and we go to our payload, you can see that we have all the information pertaining to that specific recipe. Now, again, with our fetch request, we want to make sure we have this type properly. So what we want to do is import our recipe type from our types file. So at the very top, we'll say import and then we'll do type. And this is going to be the recipe type. And this is from our type files. And with that import, we just want to copy this type and then we want to assign it to our use fetch request. Now for the markup and styling again, we're just going to head over to GitHub and copy and paste that in. So here inside of the GitHub repo, we can select on the recipe route and then we have our ID.view file and we can just copy this template here. And then we can just replace this entire template with what we copied over from GitHub. And everything within the markup is things we have already done. So we have a very similar section to our recipe card with all the information pertaining to the cook time, the calories per serving, the rating and review count. Then we have the image again, we're going to be using the Nux image component. And then we just have a few other sections that is going to be displaying some of the recipe information. 
And now back inside of the browser, if we scroll on down and we select one of our recipes, we can just select the chocolate chip cookies. And you can see it's gonna take us to this individual recipe page where we have the information about that particular recipe.